Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. Our webinar today is about approvals, and we have uh, our lovely salesperson, Omar, teaching you all about it. I'll kick it off to you, Omar. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're really uh, happy to be back. Um, so, uh, just like Natasha said, we're going over the approvals app today. I'm going to start off pretty basic, uh, and then I'll get into a little bit more complex uh, um, processes as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to see, I'm going to show you the approvals app. I'll talk a little bit about purchasing, uh, but you'll definitely need our studio application to recreate what I'm going to show you today. Um, so let's just jump right into a demonstration. Here's my database. Uh, Anyone who's watching uh, can definitely follow along as they go. You can go on our website, download a free trial. That is exactly how I uh, created this database. So let's go into the approvals app. It's gonna be pretty basic information. Uh, it's, it's basically an app that's designed to uh, um, manage anything that a employee might need to approve within a business. So as you can see, we have some examples here. We have business trip, we have a payment application, uh, maybe a car rental application, uh, and so on and so forth. Let me show you how to set these up. We can go to the approval types, and we can create our own. Let's go ahead and create our own. Let's say uh, um, this is going to be for purchasing. We can have a description created. So let's put um, purchasing from vendors. And here are the various fields that are going to show up on the form view uh, once we get in there. So I'm going to click all of them uh, just so you get an idea of what they will look like. We'll make them all required and we'll enter those in. Now here on the right hand side is going to be important. So who needs to approve uh, this specific request? We'll add on the admin. You can add as many approvals as you would like. So you could have a, a process where maybe uh, a CEO, uh, um, um, a VP, and a specific manager all need to approve a request. In this demo, I'll just do one approval to keep it uh, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and save this. And now if I go back to my approvals types, uh, here we go. You can see here at the bottom, there's the one I just made. If we go back to the screen, here it is in the uh, interface view. Let's click inside. Here's the form view. Here's all of those fields that I've just created. Uh, and I'll go through this specific flow. This will be the first one. And then I'll go through, uh, I'll show you how to add a field to this that's not standard in Odoo. And then I'll show you how to connect this specific approval to a different application. So let's go ahead and put a date. We're going to say uh, the 22nd. Uh, and we're going to do, we're going to purchase between the 20th and the 23rd location. Go ahead and put San Francisco. That's where I currently am. Oops, if I can spell today. There we go. I will put a contact here. Items, uh, screw, the quantity, put 10, and the amount, I'll put 100 bucks, and the reference, I'll put a, a fake PO number here just for testing. Let's go ahead and save. I can attach a document if need be. Uh, so if you're attaching maybe a purchase order from a vendor or something of that nature, you can. I'll go ahead and submit this. And now, oops, I have to attach a document. Let's attach one. Boom. And now I can submit this to my manager, and there's a lovely picture of me that I've attached to this document. So from a manager standpoint, I'll get it a notification here at the top that says I have an approval request. It'll take you to this view. As you can see, I need to approve this as the manager. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and approve. That is essentially how the approvals app works in a nutshell. It's very simple. Uh, it's a good, uh, easy way for employees to be able to uh, send any requests that they might need in a company. Now, let's get a little more complex. I'm going to go to our approval types. I'll go back to the purchasing one we created. And now I'm going to jump into Studio. So what Studio is, it's, just, it's an app that allows you to edit the code on the back end of Odoo without actually knowing computer code. It's a very powerful tool um, that I use all the time uh, in demonstrations and in customizing databases. So let's go ahead and add a new field. Let's do something basic. Uh, I'll add a text field that's here on the right hand side. I'll go ahead and click that text field. And I will say that this is a text number that says PO number. 
and I'll add that field into the back end of our purchasing approval. I'm going to close this. As you can see, it's saved here. Now, if I go back to the form view, click into purchasing, that field uh, should pop up. Let me see. Oh, I didn't make it required. Give me one second. Go to approval types, go back to purchasing. Let's go back in the studio. And I'll make this a required field. And here we go. And I'll put a PO number and save it. As you can see, if I go back to my form view, uh, it's not popping up. Anyways, we'll follow that same logic in adding fields. Uh, I'm going to do something a little more complex. We're going to go into purchasing application and make it so that anyone who's going to purchase something at, from my company will have to have an approval request uh, on this specific form. So I'm going to click Studio again. We're going to do a mini to one field this time. And I'm going to say that you need a, an approval request in this specific location. Saving and we'll close. And the cool thing about Studio is even though I only put um, that specific field on this purchase number 07, if I go and create a new purchase order right now, that field is still here. So let's create a, a purchase order really quick. We'll do it from Missouri. We'll grab some screws. Oops. How about acoustic block screens? Save it. And we will make an approval request. So I will say this is to purchase block screens. The category, let's say that this is going to be a general approval. The request owner is going to be the admin. And here I can write a description. Need this for further work. Save it. Save. And now, if I go back to my approvals, I'm going to go here to the top, look at all approvals, and purchase block screens. Here is the approval that I just created from the purchase tab that an employer can click in, see what I'm looking at, approve, and as a an employee, I'd be able to see that uh, my request to purchase these block screens has been approved, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, so that's how the app works in a nutshell, and that's a way you can connect it to uh, a, a second app within Odoo. That same uh, process is how you would connect it to any app. So if you want to put an approval on a sale order, or you want to put an approval on a manufacturing order, uh, you're still going to use that same mini to one field and you're going to need the studio app. So I highly recommend uh, that if you're interested in the approvals app, you also uh, go ahead and download and try out the studio app as well. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And now I will answer any questions you may have. Let's see. Right now we don't have any questions yet because it was so thorough. But there always is a little bit of lag, so we can wait a little bit. No problem. That was beautifully explained. It was horrible. No, it was great. Am I? I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting to see what questions come up, just in case. All right. I guess right now we're not seeing. It was very good. Right now we're not seeing any questions. I don't think, is anybody in it? There are. There are 14 people watching. Woo! I know. Okay, I'm gonna since I haven't seen anything yet, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. What's the email they can reach you at? OKA at Odoo.com. OKA at Odoo.com. OKA at Odoo.com. Reach out. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thanks for joining our uh, webinar. Um, Till next time. Please subscribe to get more tips on how to use your Odoo apps. Thank you so much, you guys.